You little dancer. for you too. I'll save you for a special occasion. Beth's return. Georgie, there. George Barbie, there. Be safe, guys. Be safe. Let's go stuff. <sighs> See, this is the problem with you. You're refined, you're sophisticated, you've got a good taste in wine, but you come out with something that smells like something crawled inside your mouth and died. Something very, very wrong with you. Ben, you know Veronica? Veronica? Not THE Veronica. Not the one with the legs up to her shoulders and the black hair down to her arse, that like Veronica? The very same. Why, like she's lucky. Uh, no. Did I tell you the first man? You didn't see the way she was looking at me. It was, it was the look. You know that every guy that sees her thinks they get that. She's not interested in you. Never was. She never, I repeat, never would be. Ah uh, no no man, you didn't see the way she looked at me. You weren't there. It was, it was the look. Have you ever seen the girl you know you're gonna marry? Yeah. <laughs> I just know every time I see Veronica. Yeah. Sunday, Dave. Sunday. Thanks. And your boyfriend? A date. The first. No, the last. Hmm. Maybe. No, I won't ask you. Hmm. Ballsy, but your wine tastes like shit. <laughs> if you want to impress me, you need something a bit more mature, a bit more class. This discount corner shop ain't gonna cut it. Well, let's get out of here. I'll take you to a place where the wine will be the best you've ever had and it flows all night. Let me guess. 
the special wine factory is back at your place, right? Actually, it's in a little country called France. You got your passport? My name's Beth. You come in for an adventure, Beth? How are you doing today, Scott? Well, not too bad, Scott. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking, Scott. It's looking like it's going to be a nice sunny day out there today, Scott. Hmm? Sure does, Scott. Do you want breakfast? Yeah. I'm fancying some... Beans. Fucking love baked fucking and beans. Have some rain in
Georgie, you there? Come on, George, man, Barbara, are you there? Hello, George. Yeah, I can hear you, just. Yeah, well, the signal's all crappy, but I can hear you, just. What happened? Where were you last night? Contact us, I'm dead. We lost our power supply last night. Shit, you okay? Yeah, it was a long night. The priest strung out, we made it through. I used my little own main boomers for the first time. They did the job. Spread the eaters everywhere. And Barbara, is she okay? And Barbara, is she all right? Yeah, she's good. She was injured last night, but she's okay. She's resting. Shit, she wasn't bit, was she? Nah. Nah, not bit. They didn't get her. Yeah, I prayed for you both last night. Prayed for us? Shit, Scott. Haven't you learned to pray doesn't help yet? Can't hurt, George. You're still here. I'm still here. And Beth, where is she? Shit. Sorry, I didn't mean that, man. I just... I just fucking hate the mention of God. If there ever was a God, and I mean if... He's not dead. I'm without other religious types for right, and this is a wrap on all of us. I'm trying to take the most fucked up thing I ever seen. There's a bunch of God squatters giving themselves to the fucking eaters. Holding up signs saying, the end is not made. Charming, body, flesh tearing. One after the other, like it was some sort of bad thing. How are you holding up? Water supplies any better? <sighs> Again, low, George. And I had a good plan in quite a while. I never thought I'd be so happy to taste water. Never knew it could taste that good. Yeah. Better than reheated rainwater, that's for sure. Yeah, that's if we plan rainwater to reheat, George. <laughs> it's supposed to be the British summer season. Never known to go so long about rain. <laughs> There's a river near us, pure, crisp, but I've seen dead bodies floating in it. Yeah, same here. I don't trust free-flowing water. I've seen the disease carried in that way. Yeah, drink enough of that shit, George. You'll be tucking into flesh like it's deep fried, covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> Finger eating good. What was that? Nothing. Oh, I, uh, I'd better go. I think Barbara's waiting. I need to tend to her wounds. Yeah, I should go to. Safe power. Take care, Scott. Stay safe. You too. Marry me. Now? Right now, marry me. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm serious, marry me. I'm serious too. Fuck off. But I want to marry you. I want to spend every day for the rest of my life with you. I never want us to be apart. <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> Was that a yes? Are you serious? Are you me a ring? <laughs> okay, if I get you a ring then you'll say yes. Ring first.
Beth. Will you do me the honour of a fuck's sake? Me the fuck do you think you are? <clears throat> Beth. Will you be my wife? <clears throat> Beth. How about it, love? Dude! Shit, Dave, knock! Dude, have you seen the news? No, why? Is there something earth shattering happening? Pretty much, man. Everything's going batshit crazy in London. People are eating each other, man. They're actually eating each other. It's the most fucking insane thing I've ever seen. It's awesome! And I'm not drunk this time, I swear.
George Barber, you there, guys? Hey, Scott. George, you okay? What's going on? What was that? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, just Barbara. She's, um, a bit under the weather still. Are you doing okay for meds? Yeah, yeah, we've got some in stock. Enough, I guess. I think she's got a stomach bug. Nothing too serious. I hope she's okay. Yeah, yeah, she'll be just fine. How was your day? Draft day to the office? Yeah, something like that. Today seemed like a really long day. Yeah, longer than usual. Can I ask you something? Ask away. Do you ever think about what you're going to do if Beth doesn't come back? No. Then that's it? No. Well, Beth will come back to me on the way here until she does. But they're living on your own, Scott. How do you do it? I'm not on my own. I've got you guys. You're on a radio. You can only power up for 30 minutes a day. Why don't you come over and join me? You should come up to us. We've got plenty of provisions. <laughs> oh, thanks, George, but... Look, as soon as Beth comes back, you know I'll come straight over. But until then, stay important and survive. Surviving? Surviving is not much of a life, Scott. No, surviving's the best. I nice scratch that. Surviving's all we got now. What was that? Gotta go. Scott, be careful out there. Crazy. The place was trashed as if a world had gone through it. People were screaming, falling over each other, children crying, it was insane. Yeah, once the curfews hit and everyone was told to stay home, we all went crazy getting supplies. The curfews? This was years before that. It's just you ordering bank holiday Monday. <laughs> Shit, the stumblers out there got nothing on a good old bank holiday sale insanity. <laughs> People who devour their firstborn for a cut price lamp. <laughs> yeah, I saw that once. Or what? It was back when it first happened. You know, before we realised what it was and what not to do. You know, when people would still congregate in large crowds. It happened at a train station. You know, all it took was one infection to get through and it just spread. I was lucky, I guess. They'd shut the gates and weren't letting anyone else through. Now I watch the people on the platform below getting ready to move to the evacuation camps. I can see it now. The look on their faces. The confusion. 
on the TV. Oh. That was my first taste of what was to come. I wish it was my last. I learned that day there were no heroes in this world. Just those lucky enough to survive. Scott, listen. Everyone's got those stories. Everyone's seen something like that. The life you once had in the world that used to exist. That's all gone. It's never going to come back. You really think it's gone forever? Maybe with human race has hit its best before date. This is the right that comes after. Well, this really is the end of the world, Joe. At least you got Barbara to see it out but it can't be something, right? Still there, George? George? Give up, Scott. Me and Barbara have been married for 22 years. Well, I didn't know that. George? Is there something wrong? There's something wrong with Barbara. The other night when we were attacked, I thought we were okay. I thought we were fine, but one of them... One of those fucking things scratched her. The smallest fucking nick. Hardly anything. Not even worth a plaster. We didn't notice at first, but... She started to feel ill. Jesus, George, have you... Her. No! She, George, you have to. She's sedated. I'll, I'll slow the change down. George, she's going to turn. Look, slowly or not, she's going to turn, George. I know. I don't know what I should do, but I can't. I just can't. I look at her and I see who she is. If there's someone I could keep her long term, maybe, maybe someday there'll be a cure. George, you know that's not going to happen. Look, they've tried, but you know how bad it got. And you know what's going to happen to her. And what if it was Beth? What would you do? Look, I know what I'd have to do, George. Knowing what you have to do and doing it a world to part. Listen, I need to go. George, she'll only get worse. Look, you can't delay this, it's what she'd want. George! George! again but it'd be third time lucky. What is it? You've seen the news. There's so much shit cracking off in London. No, we're not down in London there. You know all that strangeness is miles away, it won't be anything much. Just some sensationalised reporting. I'm talking about spending the rest of our lives together. My parents are in London. I just don't want to make a decision about our future. Not right now. I love you, Scott. I really do. It's just... I don't want to get married yet.
trust me, George. Where else would I be? Tell that Scott. Just became one of them. George, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. George, you did the right thing. Never forget that. What you killed wasn't Barbara. It wasn't her. You had no choice. We'd been married 22 years. In that time, we've worked hard to make it last. We've fallen out. We've made up. We've both been unemployed and support each other. In 25 years, we've never been apart. I put a gun to my head. I was ready to pull the trigger. I couldn't do it. I couldn't pull the trigger, Scott. No eyes. I could still see her behind those eyes. I know she's in that shell, Scott. George, what did you do? This is the last time we're going to speak. Tell me you haven't done that. I've already done it. Please tell me you haven't done that, George. In a few hours I'll be with her. Who knows? Maybe it won't be so bad. That house of yours. Sweet by my place. All my possessions are yours. Clean water, tins of food, bullets, boots, beds. All of them are you. It's been nice knowing you, Scott. in a mess. The quarantine, yeah. Yeah, I heard. It's gonna come down, but... So I won't be able to get through. Mum? Mum? Signal's dead. Why, what's up? So the army have taken over. Searching off London, but haven't done a fine. I'm sure it's just a precaution. But whatever's happening down there, the army and police will take care of it. It'll be fine. Just want to see my family. Yeah, I know. Tried to reach my parents over in France as well, but can't get them. It's getting worse. Look, 
whatever this is, they've sorted. What if they don't? I know I'm talking to myself. But sometimes you need to talk. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk. <sighs> my only friend in the world is gone. I call him my friend even though we never met. And it feels like this whole social media explosion where people were friends with people on the other side of the world. I mean, they called them friends. They knew everything about each other, but it was all virtual. I was never part of that. I never understood it. But now I do. And that's how George was. Only a few miles away. A few days' walk, but he might have been in Tokyo. And he walks for a few days on the rain in this damn place. <laughs> Shit, I don't even know what George looks like. If I see him as one of them and I kill him, would I even know? Will he know? Fuck, that's a strange thought. So what about me? What do you want to know? I'm a scavenger. I pray on the land. My Bible is my map. Now I hunt for whatever I can find. Fuck, I'm so far away from what I used to be. I was an electrician, and a damn good one. As a kid, I had a hobby of taking electronic shit apart. I used to drive my dad mad, but I was good with electronics, circuit boards, components. I could fix things if they needed fixing. I used to do it as an escape. Now I do it to keep sane. Build myself a CB radio just to see who's out there. Every time I talk into this thing, I hope someone is listening. Are you hearing me out there? Maybe I need to get more power, try to get a further reach into this world. I wonder how far this thing goes. Even if my body is captive in this place, at least my voice can sail free. If you're out there, come find me. Please. I'm not a hero. I never was. When the shit hit the fan, I hit the door. I saw people who were heroes. I saw the kind of men and women who tried to save people. I saw them perish. Get devoured by it all. Me. I ran. Ran to this place. She wanted me to go with her, but I didn't. I wouldn't. I was scared of what we might find. If I had been a hero, we would still be together. And if I was a hero, she wouldn't have left me. Should have felt safe. There's a whole world out there. And I'm afraid to leave. Afraid to live. Afraid to die. You managed to get in contact with your parents? No. I tried to get through on the emergency lines, but nothing. Left a message. Are you worried? Do I look worried? No. You look calm, as usual. I am worried. I have to admit, I haven't been your most devoted follower, but you already know that. Yeah, I just wanted to ask for you to watch over my family. I know they're safe, held up, drinking wine, taking it easy, but 
I can't reach them and I know you can, so I trust you with them. And Beth's family, she's lost contact with them and we know things are getting worse. I'm afraid that she's going to be here and try to find them. She means so much to me. Look after her. Just keep her safe. this life.
And this is the Late Night Scott Miller Show. Anyone out there want to get in touch? Today's topic is the apocalypse and what it means to you. Now I've got food and I've got water. I got a deck of cards and a great sense of humor. So if you want a good time, call me Scott Miller, 555 Survivor. Where do zombies go on holidays? The dead Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, is anyone out there? Just anyone at all? Hello? Please, if you can hear me, then please reply. Finito. Ain't pretty. It'll do, though. Are you sure coming here is a good idea? Yeah, of course. <sighs> We're miles from anywhere. We've got a secure place we can hold up in. Great view if anything comes at us. Food supplies, water. I'd say we're totally secure. All we need now is a deck of cards to wait for this thing to pass over. I hope so. You have mine. Tastes bad. No, you enjoy it. I'll get the first one the next time. <laughs> Said that last time. <laughs> it's cold tonight. Yeah. Winter's coming. I wonder if those things feel the cold. I hope so. Hope it chills the rotten flesh off the bones. <laughs> I hope the bastards freeze. Yeah, I hope the freeze before we do. Thinking of heading down to London. It's not safe yet. Family. No, it's not safe yet, but the south is where things are worst. And cities. And cities are dangerous. I don't want to stay here, Scott. I don't want to live here day to day. Die to stay here. You're not gonna die. Why if we stick together? We'll keep each other safe, yeah? Trust me. Things will get better.
I'll be fine. No, I brought them with me. Look, I won't let anything happen to you. As soon as I'm out, just lock the door. still be here. It's been so long. Has it? Days don't seem to mean anything. All that matters is if it's daytime or night time, if it's warm or cold. Sorry. I didn't have any tea bags left. It's okay. Water's fine. I did have some wine. I saved it for when you got back, but, um... I had a bad day. It's okay. We all have one of those days where we just want to crack open a bottle of wine and watch the world go by. I was waiting for you. I knew you'd come back someday. But I meant no, I... I didn't open it. I wanted to, but... I know this is going to sound a bit stupid, but... I was afraid what it might say. So I'll wait for you to return. I thought of you returning, but... Help me survive. Sorry. Goofy thing to say. How was London? Did you find your folks? Can we talk about something else? Gonna do something fun. What do you have in mind? I see your free buttons. And raise you an empty bottle of water. Sure. You're supposed to let me win. We should really go to Vegas and clean up. You know, your thing self looking not playing strip poker. You'd be pretty dumb cold by now. Like we need to go to Vegas to get naked. <laughs> Hold me. It's been so long since I felt safe.
Hold it. Hold it steady. Keep your arms strong. Look down the arrow. When you're ready, let fly. Bow and arrows all the rage in London. Yeah, could you say behind up here the guns and bullets? <laughs> it's great to have you back. It's great to be back. Did it ever get lonely up here? Of course. I used to speak to an old couple on that on CB radio. George and Barbara. We used to chat every night. Don't talk anymore? No. They, um... They didn't make it. I'm sure you can fill in the blanks. What about you? What was London like? Chaos. Absolute fucking chaos. Thought it'd be hard to get in, but... It wasn't. Once inside, everywhere was like a war zone. Everywhere was dangerous. What about you folks? Did you find them? Yeah. Eventually. They're in one of those shelters. We were safe and sound, but... My sister... Well... She didn't know. You have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's okay. I want to tell you. My sister... She didn't make it. She died in the first days. She tried to get out like everyone else, but... Well... You know what happens. So I went to stay in my home. It's... We stopped in one of those army encampments. It was safe and organised. There was some hope. Then the supplies were on you. Everyone got a little crazy. It's not got mixed with monsters on the outside and crazy people on the inside. We had to get out of there. Hey. You okay? Yeah. I'm just worn out. I think I need to lie down. I might have had some more water. <sighs> so thirsty.
What's with the map? Those are places I've been to. Things I have found. Are places to go back to. Looks like you plan to stay in here a long time. Never thought of moving on. I was waiting for you. You really didn't read my letter, did you? <laughs> Beth, I wasn't ready to say goodbye. Might have to. Sorry. sunset, sunrise, through laughter, through tears, I want to keep pets, raise a family, forever. Beth, will you marry me? I thought you'd never ask.
stay down. Stay still and no one gets hurt. By no one, I mean you. Nod or speak if you get me. I'll get you. I'm Max. That's Lolly. Hey. Lolly, check his bag. Oh, get off! That's my... Everything in here is ours. That bag, your gun, your shitty jumper, it all is ours if we want to take it. If you say another word, I may just take your fucking tongue. You get me? Just say yes, I get it, if you understand. I won't take your tongue for that. Yeah, get it! Good boy. Lolly, what we got? Jigsaw. Playing cards. Water. Beans. 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 <laughs> this guy likes beans. Water's good. Anything else of use? A letter mark to Scott. Snap. I got me one of those too. What the fucking chance of that? He's yours from Scotty Boy. Speak. A girlfriend. A girlfriend, eh? Is she hot? She ain't bad, Maximilian. Oh, she ain't. She coming to me, yeah? No. She isn't. What's she here? scratched. In short, are you safe? Yeah, I'm safe. Nothing took a bite out of me. Okay. Cut him loose if you want. You can have all your shit back too. We got water and I don't much care for pictures of your girlfriend. I'm keeping the playing cards, though. We can play cards on the road. We're keeping the playing cards, though. We can play cards on the road. It's with the costumes and bandanas. And the cowboys are some shit. Well, yesterday I was a scientist. Today I'm a bad man with a gun. What of it? Thanks. Now I'm very exciting. They just tell you all the stuff he's left is yours. Hours long been too generous. Yeah, ours. <laughs> Find us keeps and all that. Of course, we will let you have some. We're not mean, are we, Lol? No, we ain't mean. Anything we don't want, you can have. Now, who wants to play? Heard you talking the other night on the uh, CB thingy. <laughs> Man, you were rambling. Yeah, that was when Beth died. Oh, well. That's rude. So, everyone dies. I don't want to hear another sort of story. You're some kind of father daughter kid casting. We're not related. No, we aren't related. He's my saviour. Aren't you, darling? Uh huh. Don't call me darling. Especially not in front of the guest. He's shy. Where are you headed, Scott? No. <laughs> Fucking north. What's so funny? North is fucked. Just came from there. Nothing but heartbreak. Well, south just as fucked. Not all of it. There's a place down the coast, not far from Dover. Can't I tell him? Tell me what? We can trust him. Actually, we don't know him, Lolly. You know we can't trust anyone. You know that. Time for bed. But that's not no buts. You need sleep. Got a big day tomorrow and I want to talk to Scott. 
grown-up stuff. I'm a fucking grown-up. Not tonight, you're not. Bed now. Go practice your violin. You're not my fucking father. Even in the fucking apocalypse, a teenager's still a teenager. Drink? Yeah, some water would be great. Not water. I said drink. time, different place. Should have been great. Yeah, it's one of the things I miss the most. That TV and movies I couldn't live without, but... Music. Nah, I miss music. Sorry, no ice. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Love it even more now. So she's not your daughter? No. You know she likes you. Well, other people, I guess. Plus, she hasn't got anyone else to look at. How did you come to be together? Have you ever saved anyone's life, Scott? No. Ever had the chance to play the hero? No hero. It's the best feeling in the whole world. Changes your life. Just save her. Paul and Todd went batshit crazy. I was a pharmacist. Worked hard. Had a wife. Young kid. Baby girl. When the outbreak happened, I was just one of many people trying to find a cure, trying to find a drug to stop all this. At one point we thought we had it. We thought we had it. But just as we got there, the barricades were overrun. The test subjects got out. We'd had to leave. My wife and kid were in the shelter at the time. We had that feeling. In that situation where there's nothing you can do. No matter what you try, no matter how hard you go for it, what you can do is stand by and watch. Fucking kill me a sign. Not just losing them, but no, there's nothing I could do to help. I, I bowed. I would never let that happen again. Cut a lolly. I was wandering aimlessly when I spotted a uh, group of walkers moving as a herd. It smelled blood. We're moving in for the kill. Turns out, the family had got themselves into trouble in a house. That house was never going to hold. You could hear the gunshots and, and the screams. I guess that was too late. I didn't think there'd be any survivors here. A son, one of the windows in the top floor just shattered open. This kid jumps out. Must have taken some balls. She was nimble. That fool should have killed her, but she'd only twisted her ankle. Couldn't believe it. Before she could get out though, they were on her. She'd have been eaten alive if I had stepped in. I shot them, stabbed them, tore their heads off, anything I could, whatever it took. I got her out of there and carried her away to safety. And that's how I met Lolly. Saved her life. She's special. And I'm the one protecting her. Don't want to waste that stuff. Yeah, I feel a little strange. 
That would be the drink, my friend. when you treat me like a child. You are a child. I'm 16. Exactly. Listen. This world's a dangerous fucking place. It was before. It's a thousand times worse now. Be thankful you've got someone looking out for you. Special Lolly. You know that. You're the only person to have ever been bitten and survive. You hold a cure. But it's place in front. What if it doesn't exist? It has to. It has to. You can't keep hiding. We need a safe place. A place where we can rebuild and France is where that's happening. We just need to get there. Time for bed. Wake up. No. We need to travel light, and that means just the two of us. Now, come on, the boat's not going to wait, and we've got a long way to go. What if something happens to you? Nothing's going to happen to me. I'll be all alone. Listen, we don't need backup. Nothing's going to happen to me, okay? Shit. Hey, hey. Come on. What about if you? We don't have time. Sorry, Scott. Get to the windows. Get ahead and keep your distance. Boots. 
I'm fine. I've had worse. I need to get going before more of them come. Okay. I'll come with you. Take as far as I can go. You saved my life. Maybe everyone's lives. Yeah, Beats. Soon around waiting to die. <laughs> 